Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike. It's Dan. Dan's joining me today because we are going to talk about some of the most mysterious photos ever taken that could never be explained. And we're going to skip out on all the ghost photos because yeah. obviously they're ghost photos and we're going to do a special video on that right. later. But let's just talk about photos that are, you know, they're not ghosts, but right. we still don't know what they are. Right. Or let's start with this one. This is the Bubushka lady. Mm -hmm. This Bubushka. is okay, like Bubushka. Yeah. <laughs> uh, during the assassination of JFK, yeah. everybody was running for cover. It's kind of chaotic. Um, there's really a, not a lot of um, evidence back then because obviously nobody has smartphones like they do today. Mm -hmm. But there was one lady who seemed to be calmly documenting the whole thing. And this is crazy. I've seen videos of this mm -hmm. too. Yep. And she's everyone's running. Okay. President's just been shot, and she's just kind of leisurely walking and yep. actually appears to be documenting. Yep. What's going on? Did you know that was going to happen? How did you just know? I'll, to... tell, I'll tell you what. You, yeah. It's only one explanation. Oh, I think I know what you're going to say. Time travel. I knew you were going to say time travel. I knew you were going to say time travel. And I'm not going to say that that's not that plausible because how can you be like when everyone else is just mayhem, chaos, mm -hmm. you're, it's almost like you knew that was going to happen. I mean, it's not like well, she... she's either a time traveler or she's part of the assassination plot. Which she's not because they found her. No, no, no. They they found somebody came forward to said that that was her. But they never but, found but, her. But mm -hmm. the issue with that was she says she used a uh, what was yeah. it the uh, a camera yeah. that wasn't invented till after the assassination. Right, a Super Eight. It's like a really. It's if you guys uh, know like film, it's an old film yes. camera. Yes, isn't that a movie? Yeah, right. The same title. Yeah. So I'm thinking the time traveler isn't from far in the future. Otherwise, they come back with an mm -hmm. iPhone Seven. Okay. So why 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 would she need this footage? Because the people in the future are like that was a historical event. We need it. Uh, we need to document it. And but we 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 cannot mess with anything. We cannot mess. With, it's an in and out job. Go there, document it, come right back. Man, I'm, I might be crazy, but that does not sound that implausible, <laughs> man. Know, know, let's go. Oh, dude. If you guys like creepy creature sightings, I know we all do. Okay, here's here's one for you guys. In 1907, there's a bunch of fishermen. Yeah. And they caught what they what is called or what they called a. Cadaborosaurus. Uh -huh. Cadab is that even a dinosaur? That looks like a sea serpent. Well, it's it's yeah, it's like a sea serpent. It's kind of kind of like a mythical monster. Right, like like the Yeti or Loch Ness monster. But to me, it looks like a tree. I think it, I think it's a hoax. I think they carved it out of a. That tree. looks like a tree because it's it looks really so does. stiff. I mean, That's what this I'm thing literally is just like it's just unless it's dried up. It, I mean, how how is it that stiff? It's it's totally looks like it totally looks like they carved it out of something, right? Because also like the shape and the yeah. color, but hey, if it's not, I, I mean, mean, look, do I believe that monster, sea monsters, uh, creatures of the depth, do they exist? Yeah. Absolutely, definitely, absolutely, hundred percent believe it. And just because this, I think, just because this may or may not be fake, yeah, doesn't mean that the uh, there's tons of photos out there with weird sea creatures, yeah. even footage, even yeah. like there's that deep sea um, footage of a giant, meg possibly a giant megalodon hitting yeah. uh, at the depth camera. of the yeah. hitting a camera at the deep deepest end of the Marianas Trench. So I don't doubt that there's some crazy sea creatures, the mm -hmm. kraken. I'm just saying. This is not one of the them. The head kind of looks like <laughs> like like some Halloween cheap Halloween mask. I don't know. Look, it could be real. We don't know. This is like a photo bomb. They, this is their version of a photo bomb. Well, the next one, I, I'm really creeped out by. Okay. I'm really really creeped out. By. This is a famous photo. This is a famous photo of a little girl. This is uh, her um, her family took this photo. This yeah. is um, Jim Templeton. Uh, Templeton is their is the father. Okay. So him and his wife and his daughter are just like having lunch and they're taking photos. And right. this is this is back in the day. I don't know what year exactly this was. 1964. 1964. So, Summer of. So they took a photo of the young girl sitting on the on the grass, and right. look what's on top of her head. I mean, I mean, I want to say that's an astronaut because I don't know what else it could be. So it's it's um it's definitely a humanoid, right? But look look at that. That looks like a spacesuit. So Time travel. No, 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 no. The crazy thing is, right. it's not like they didn't see anybody there when they took the photo. It showed up. It just showed up. So. And it's not a ghost photo because it's not a ghost. It's not a creature. ghost. It's definitely you know you know what it is though. I think it's it's it, you know what parallel universe travel. It's gotta be man who just who just happened to to be caught in some like somehow that that camera right. was able to capture it. Right. Because you know 
back then it wasn't like it's not like now like you take you take some random photos you right. photoshop and you're like no. hey you know what this is a prank this this is i mean to everybody who this has seen the, this this yeah. is a undoctored yeah. old film photo yeah. i mean look i i used to do like professional photo retouching mm -hmm. Okay, the depth, of, I'll tell you, give you some photo lingo right here. It's really hard to recreate this depth of field where the background, like, you know, when we shoot, when the background is blurred, yeah. it, it, you can't just recreate that to look like it's seamless. So obviously here, the background is blurred. The guy is blurry yeah. perfectly with the, the background image. So it's, it's not like somebody could just, you know, insert him in there. And plus her hair has got all this yeah. thing. So you would have to have cut her hair out perfectly and then put some guy behind it. I have new theory. Okay. I have new theory. More right. than time travel or parallel universe. No, no, no. It, it, it's definitely, okay. I have two theories. Okay. One, it's a time traveler. Two is uh, is a, a, a being from another planet. The yeah. reason I say this is okay. they're here to observe, but during their time mm -hmm. or their civilization, mm -hmm. they invented the invisibility suit, yeah. the cloaking suit. But for some reason, for that split second, it didn't work. That's what I'm thinking. I think I think you are you are onto something. Okay, no, I'm not kidding, right? Because we talked about time travel. So so we talked. Let, let's say let's say you using your same theory of in the future the same species us developed time travel. Yes. So and we went to observe. So maybe that's what, you know that, what maybe that's us. that figure yeah. is the girl's son. Yo, yeah. Who misses her mother? Right. And was like, you know, let's let, let me go look at her when she was like right or uh -huh. or in, or or you know how right now we're yeah. trying to con we're trying to colonize mars right yes but some people are like well why can't we find a, a, a similar um they said they have found similar planets mm -hmm. to earth what if they hey we found that earth that's us let's go observe them yeah and, and then it just cloaking suit misalignment for a second you're onto something that's not crazy, man. That is not crazy. All right, and I, and I think I almost, I almost had to pee my pants when I saw this because this looks like the gremlin. This looks like uh, this the cr the swamp thing. Yo, it, I mean, it, it literally looks like that 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 thing that that ripped apart the airplane. Remember the guys like looking out the window? Yeah. And then there's lightning. And he sees this like gremlin looking thing ripping out yeah. the airplane. That's what this thing looks like. Uh, I mean, in the mid '90s, yep. two friends went to a cave uh, in the UAE. It's called Ras Al Kama. Mm -hmm. And this is they. This is what they saw on the camera. They captured it. They didn't see it in they, person. Right. They just after they developed the film. Right. But they. But they heard haunting screams mm -hmm. um, where the photo was taken. But yep. they. But they ran away. Yeah. Okay. And I will run away. And then when they came back, I mean, this is totally plausible, right? Your camera. Tons of times your camera goes off. They went to develop the film and they were like, what you know, is this that? this is like this is like an urban legend. You know, yeah. you know the one where like uh, the the guy goes into uh, the roommate goes into the apartment, okay, and and basically you know tries not to wake up her roommate who she thought was sleeping. Oh, next morning wake up, they see a. Uh, she was about to turn the lights, but right. she didn't. Went to bed. Right. Next morning wake up, there's a there's words sprawled out in blood on the wall. Mm. Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the lights? Uh. Literally, this creature is like, aren't you glad you did not see me? Yeah. Because I would have killed you. You would have been dead. And no one would have seen this photo. So this is truly, what is it? No, I mean, what are you gonna do? Go back and try to find it? Nope, I'm not doing that. Yo, someone should, uh, not no. me. Not doing that. But you know, that's the thing with caves, right? right? We say the oceans are unexplored. There's so many cave systems that we, we don't even know exist. Exactly. I did a video, I think it was like over 50% or something like that, over 70, don't remember the exact number, mm -hmm. but it was a huge proportion of caves, even in the US. Right. US is one of the most explored uh, continents in terms of caves in the right. world. Right. But even here, I think there's like something crazy, like 50, 60, 70% of caves on this car. Well, of course. How, I mean, there's so many places that we can't even get into and that we don't even know about. Yeah. So this this next one is, is a really popular photo. A lot of people can't figure out. And this would fall into a lot of people will say optic illusions, but I don't know where right. the illusion is. If you look at this photo, right? So this kid in a hat, right? He yeah. has his right hand here. Right. His left hand probably on the back of this other kid in the Yankees hat. Right. right? So the guy in the Yankees hat right has hand. his right hand around the guy in Shoulder. the sideway hat, mm -hmm. left arm straping, right. okay? Now the kid with his tongue sticking out, right. his left hand is around the neck of the, the kid in the black boy, yeah. shirt, mm -hmm. his right hand is around the neck of the kid in the Yankee right. shirt. Where did that thumb come from? That's what I'm saying. Or if that's his thumb, Whatever, who's, who's uh, if that's his thumb, yeah. then whose other hand? I mean, look, if you wanna, if you wanna. 
just shoot this down easily. You could just say, well, it was a prank and somebody behind them held out the hand. Yeah. But I, come on, that's too easy. That's too easy. I don't know. Like, I have no idea. I mean. Where did it come from? That's mysterious. I mean, they figured that out. Like they were like trying to trick people. Yeah. And, because here's the thing. Yeah. When you take a photo like that when you're a kid, who, you don't who, even, who are you thinking about tricking? It's not like you're posting it on Facebook back then. You're saying. like, hey. Hey, yeah. this is gonna go viral. That's what I'm saying, exactly. All right, and we've, we've talked about this one before, and this is still remains a mystery, because I actually went on the website of the museum. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like it's not a doctored photo. So you guys might know what this is. Um, this is like the time, is this a time traveler? This is a time traveling photo? hippie, that's what they Hips, say. Hipster, 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 sorry, hipster. Right, so this was 1941 when this, when this photo was taken, there was um, a bridge that was reopening, the South Forks Bridge in Canada. Yep, Vancouver. And, right, in Vancouver, and look, there's a guy here. Yep. He's very out of place. Yes. Very out of place, and he's holding a camera. Um, he looks like a hipster from now that would live in, say, Williamsburg, New York, with the sunglasses, you know, the ironic T-shirt yep. and the you know flannel shirt. Um, I've, I've, look, I've seen theories debunking this yep. now because after we did the yes. segment, but there's theories. People will try to explain everything. Like we just did a video about girls, uh, about bodies that blink, and people were like, "That's an optical illusion." And people here said, well, it's very conceivable because, you know, they're trying to say that his shirt yeah. was a Canadian hockey team yeah. and this is in Canada. Yeah. But just, I mean, with the eye test, so, you look so at this. So for some reason, he's dressed differently than everybody, everybody right. else in that area. Right. Because he shops at Time Travel or Us. Right. I don't I, know. Where, what is he shopping? Like the, the future Old Navy. What is he shopping at? Right. So he has, other he has a camera that seems to be a, almost like a, Looks like a DSL almost. I don't, well, I don't know what it, what kind of camera that it, is. It's hard to really right. see, right? It's hard to really see. So I'm, look, I do the eye test. I go, does this look weird out of place? And I say, yes, it is. Yeah. All right, other people will, they, you know, everyone's like, well, that camera existed back then because you can't, you don't know what he's holding. Right. But this is definitely still a mysterious photo and people agree that it's not Photoshop. Right. So it's mysterious. So you have to explain what it is. Right. And based you, on the photo itself. And you can't prove that he got the clothes and the hat or whatever from his local because that's what they're saying yeah. like these clothes existed i'm like so he's the only one in this town that looks like that i don't know man all right take a look at this photo yeah. this was taken on the moon and one thing i want to i want to i want to say is that uh -huh. obviously there's a lot of different uh structures uh, natural structures uh -huh. that are on other planets that we have no idea what they are uh -huh. But this thing looks really uniform to be a, a natural structure. No, that does so not look natural whatsoever. This, 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 this was part of the Apollo 17 mission. Right. And NASA that claims that one picture um, was blank mm -hmm. from the film, um, from the film magazine. Right. So this is the picture, right? And this picture literally looks like a pyramid. It's a pyramid. You know, like when you see faces in the planets, people yeah. are like, whatever. I could, I could see where people are like, you know, that's just the structure, the yeah. wind, maybe blew the sand. That looks like a pyramid on the moon. <laughs> How do you explain that? I mean, I don't know. It looks so like rash. It, it, it looks, looks so, so rationally ge sound. Geometric. Right. It looks so geometrically sound. Exactly. All right, and when you talk about geometry, look, there's geometry in nature, but when you talk about something like this, this looks very man-made, very calculated, very deliberate, uh, and functional too, as well. Like, I mean, we don't know the functions, but there's gotta be a reason it's out there. And now, you know, more more and ever now, we, we are hearing crazy moon theories, a lot. Yeah, so actually, you know actually, I mean? if you guys missed it, check out my video where I did, where one of my subscribers right. sent this footage in. Okay. You never saw this. Never saw this, what is but it? But it looks like a, a moon base on the moon. He was looking right. through his telescope and he saw the structure there. No, no, and no. And then no. He, he captured it. No, no, no he way. He captured it. And then he went to tell his family. He came back and the structure was gone. No yeah. way. I posted this. Guys, check out that video if you never haven't seen it yet. It looks literally like like stacks of uh, like spheres. It looks like a, like a structure of so, some sort on the moon. So he kept the footage. I mean, that must be viral. Yeah, he kept the footage. He also, I think it's actually, after he uh, he, he gave it to he showed it to me, yeah. I published it. Uh, it's also gonna be on um, Ancient Aliens now, right. the TV show. Right. Because it's, it's so insane. 
So it's the most I mean, insane thing I've ever what, heard. What what not insane. I though. mean if you th- if you think about it, if aliens are here, right. they're they're trying to observe Earth, mm-hmm. wouldn't it be the most logical place to just be like on the moon? To kind of stay, stay well s- put their spacecraft that's I'm, not able to be found. Well I would say I would say no because I would say if you're if you can re- if you're an alien species and you have this technology, I mean you don't need to be that close because you can fly in and out so fast, right? To me, it's to me I feel like humans no, like stuff government knows they're not telling us. Like, I think that they're doing stuff on the moon. Yeah, I don't know, man. Not aliens. You've been like, let's say, I'm talking about Star Trek esque yeah. stuff, right? Mm-hmm. The big Enterprise comps, yeah. they gotta park it somewhere. Well, no, no, but but that's humans. That's what I'm saying. I don't, th- aliens, I think, have technology that we can't even like. Well, Star Trek with. is pretty advanced. Yeah. The but, Enterprise is pretty advanced. No, but I'm saying, though, it's manned by humans that I feel well, like. Any, any, yeah. well, take any rock. Well, oh, you're talking like a I'm talking about any, ship. Any okay. alien spaceship. Okay. Not, right. Like, they can't park it in the, in the, in the Mojave Desert right. for long. That's true. I mean, if they do need to park a vehicle somewhere, I'm and, just like. And the dark side of the moon, we never know what's, what's there. Nope. We can't see it. Nope. So why? Can they just park it there? And also, uh, if and you guys in the shade, yeah. If you guys look on other moon theories, like there are a lot of um, craters that aren't craters because they're, well, they're con- convex, not we're, concave. We're gonna talk to you guys yeah. about uh, about because uh, I wrote a script right. about the moon, and right. I think we're gonna actually turn it into a discussion because it's so interesting the yeah. stuff I found about the moon. So we're gonna get get into that in another video. But let us know what you think that structure is. Uh huh. All right. So we all love crazy, mysterious creatures, right? Well, I mean. By love, I mean, I want to know they exist, but I want to be nowhere in their proximity. Right, right. So here, here's another one. This, this one's pretty well known, okay? It looks like a giant tadpole yeah. or a snake. S- sea serpent or something. Sea serpent. And there's, there's several versions of this photo. So the black and white version, um, this was taken in 1964 mm-hmm. by a couple um, in off of the coast of Queensland in Stonehaven Bay uh, mm-hmm. on Hook in Hook Island. And you know nowadays, yeah, if people would be like, well, you could have just easily photoshopped that, or th- this could be anything in the water. But back then, you know, you didn't have Photoshop, and it, reportedly it was 75 to 80 feet long by the couple. They wanted to get closer to it, and when they did, it opened. They said it opened its mouth and swam away. That's, that's interesting, Nessie, man. That's Nessie's cousin. That's Nessie's cousin. That's um, 80 feet long. 80 and, and feet it's long. It's like swerveling. It's not so. It's not like a like a long. Vertical, um, right. you know, what I mean, it's not like a stiff thing. It's it looks like it's actually swimming I mean look some people can say well, that's just a giant snake. Sorry. That's, I don't know man <laughs> That'd be that'd be a real giant snake I mean that thing makes that snake and anaconda look right. like a pet because the anaconda thickness I mean, this is nowhere near what it looks like. In no, this. I mean this looks like his head is massive Right hence the tadpole right. reference right snakes don't look like that. No so and and Nessie's not you know has a wider body. It looks well, you've like never a Lapras. Well, report, I mean, look, people think that Nessie looks like that Lapras Pokemon, that's right? Like, think they, that's oh, what they no. think. Well, this could be less Nessie then than the mystical river creature. You never know. Well, look, all I know is yeah. there's so we we've said this so many countless times. All right, yeah. let's say it again. We only explore about five percent of the world's water. Five percent. Mm-hmm. What's down there? We have no idea. So right. anything could be down there. Anything could be down there. And then look, we talked about caves and also even less that we've explored is you said like, you know, we've only dug 10 miles deep or whatever, yeah. 100 miles deep, whatever the amount is. Eight miles. Eight miles. Yeah. I mean, there's so much Engineer. more in the center right. of the earth that we don't know that's there. It could be hollow. It could be water. You don't know. So, I, I mean, there's just so many species that could be out there that we don't know. And like you said, Amazon rainforest. What's yeah. in the Amazon rainforest? So, I mean, yeah. this is, I definitely believe that there are creatures living out there, especially in the, in the waters. I mean, there's just mm-hmm. so many, the waters is it's so crazy. I mean, that's like the majority of the earth. And I mean, just to, just imagine how deep it is. The, the highest mountain on earth is not the, uh, what do you, uh, sorry, Himalayas. the Himalayas. It's no. not, no, it's, it's not. actually under the yep. ocean. That's right. I mean, that's how deep the ocean is. Yeah. I mean, and then you got like, even Loch Ness is, mm-hmm. is massively deep. Right. So anything could be hidden there. Like we might not have seen anything. So this stuff I believe is real. I never wanted to run into one, um, but I don't know the authenticity of that photo, but that looks pretty, that looks pretty freaky. What would you do if you found, your, if you found a photo from your old photos mm-hmm. and then you found something mysterious? I mean, where was I when I took this photo? No, no, I'm just saying, like right now, you're going through all your old photos. Yeah, but but I had to be like yeah. taking taking it from somewhere. Right. So I either would be freaked out if the photo I was filming, like say I was in a That's, cave, I was filming, all right. of a sudden there's a gremlin. That's what I'm saying. I'd be like, I'd be freaked out. I'd be like, oh my god. And my second thought was, yeah. did he follow me? 
That's and I'd be like, I, I would, I would watch every episode of yeah. Supernatural again. Like, what's the remedy for yeah. Gremlin? Probably not because it's been so many years. You don't know that. Yo. They could be a dark, slow stalker. But anyway, let us know your thoughts on these photos. Do you think they're authentic or not? And let us know your theory on each and one of those. Yep. And by the way, guys, people ask for this in the beginning. So what happened on Beyond Science is that in the beginning, I linked my personal Instagram uh, account to Beyond Science okay. because people who follow me, they want to know what my life is about. And right. a lot of it's about food. Right. And But I also know that a lot of people who watch this channel, you don't really care about food that much because right. You're here for the um, strange, mysterious uh, news and topics that, 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 that is talked about on this channel. Mm -hmm. So I created this new Beyond Science mm -hmm. Instagram account. I'll link it down below for you guys in the description box as well. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna be pure uh, supernatural news items, uh, cool science -y facts, yep. interesting information posted almost daily. So make sure to follow that Instagram account, share all the cool posts with your friends, and let's grow that thing. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later. Bye.